I'm a New York fan, but I am specific on my New York teams. We are New York Mets, New York Islanders, and New York Jets. If you have New York Yankee stuff on, you're not allowed in my house. You'll have to take it off at the door. <laughs> Hi, my name is Michael Factor. I work for Tokyo Electron, and I am a facility maintenance technician, and also I run our warehouse operations. What they do is they make microchips. Tells building towards the future of autonomous vehicles and robots, flying cars like you know you see in movies, all kinds of futuristic walks of life. They're making that a reality and they're working with other semiconductor companies to make our world as futuristic as possible. I run our warehouse operations and so I ship wafers or samples that people are working on for futuristic ideas all over the world, all over the US. Some of the countries that we go to are Japan, Israel, Ireland, and then part of my job is facility maintenance, so supporting all the tools and the work that people are doing so they can put out an excellent product. A wafer is a round circular object that's flat and it's super thin which in nanometers, you can barely see. It starts flat and then they etch them. And when I say etch, that means they put a little design inside of it. And they're doing it at microscopic levels that you can't see with the naked eye. And that's what is inside of your phones, your cars, any type of handheld device that people use, even lawnmowers. The camera that I'm looking into right now, just about everything that uses electronics, one of our chips could be inside of there. I grew up in New York on Long Island, and it's real busy there, lots of city, lots of people. I went to college for a little bit, and I did pretty well, but I just didn't really like the setting of sitting in a classroom. I wanted to do something more than wanting to serve and wanting to protect. I thought joining the military would be fun, but 9-11 happened while I was in my A school, and that was near and dear to my heart, being from New York. And then I got to go out on a ship and see the world, been to about 18 different countries. I was in the U.S. Navy. I'm still in the Navy Reserves now. On the active side, I was an E5. I was an AT2, which is an aviation electronics technician. I worked on electronic systems, and we troubleshot down to component level, so resistors, transistors, little circuit boards. In the reserves, I forecast weather. So the weather job does nothing with this job, but these guys love to mess with me about what's the weather outside. So a facilities maintenance technician is someone that has a little idea on all different systems that work in a facility, such as abatement systems, which is how the gases get processed through. We have the air conditioning systems. We have airflow subsystems. We have our water treatments. Then we have our chemicals, our gases. There's the logistical side of the house. There's a lot that goes into facilities. So I have a little knowledge in each area. We have some people that are experts in each area, so we work together. We have electrical engineers, we have mechanical engineers, being able to help troubleshoot the tools sometimes. Your facilities maintenance team in the background, make sure everything is working so that the people in the lab coats, the people in the clean rooms can get their jobs done. I wanted to get a change in my career field. I was working in avionics for 14 years, but all the avionics jobs were contract work. Semiconductor was not a contract, and I wanted a full-time position to support my family. I found my job by posting my resume on Indeed.com, and I've been here now six years. I was hired as a facility maintenance technician, nothing to do with warehouse, but the person I worked with at the time was getting ready to retire, so she started to train me in warehouse operations. And once I started learning, I saw that there were some things that were done not locally here, and I just reached out to headquarters in Austin and asked them if I could do those things myself. And it was actually really beneficial that I took on those roles. So there's always opportunities within what you're doing, and it brings a lot of fun and excitement to go to work. You know, it's okay to take a job that you want at the time, but you know, if you see an opportunity or something else that interests you, keep the job you have and look into the next one and see if those skills better fit you and then go for it. Take chances, take risks, go for what you want to go for. You got to be happy with the decision that you make. You want to work in a field that's going to make you happy, that you feel good about what you did every day. Thanks everybody for listening to me and what I had to say about what I do. I look forward to hearing your questions and I'll talk to you soon. We'd love to hear your questions. Make sure to submit or upvote to have the presenter answer them.